right, first you want to make sure that the car is completely cooled down. So on the side of the radiator, by the battery, you'll see a um, little electric cord, electric cord over here. Uh, if you can see it down there, if it's bright enough. Um, you want to disconnect that um, or else you're going to pull it apart when you take the radiator out. And then one right here. So it just looks like this. And it'll pull apart. You just kind of press on that and then pull. Easy. You want to unscrew the radiator cap to release the pressure. And then if you look down on the side, so kind of get this oriented. So down in here, you'll see a part that looks like this. You're going to unscrew this and all the water, the radiator filter is going to leak out um, and should go through this hole but sometimes it's like really pressured and it um, sprays everywhere. But you want to have a pan underneath the car to catch everything. So once that all drips out, you're ready to um, take off the hoses here and here. So this one's pretty easy, just this little little hose right here comes right off um, and then you're going to take this hose off as well as this hose and it's going to come off of here and it's going to lift out of the car when you take the whole radiator out. Sometimes they can get kind of corroded so if they don't come off right away just keep on tugging. And the last little hose is down here. It's this little metal piece that comes from the radiator and you'll see a, a flexible r rubber hose right here so you want to disconnect that too. You have one on the side, one on the other side under the fan and they're pretty annoying. Just um, have to muscle through it and get them off of there. This little bolt here and it's basically just a stabilizer and then this one on the side over here so you just loosen these bolts and it comes right off so it comes right off and now you have a loose radiator so you want to pull it out and um, it'll probably leak some more on the side here so just be aware of not getting it on yourself or on something that uh, animals will lick up because this stuff is pretty nasty. Now you just gotta lift the radiator out, make sure the hoses stay out of the way. One hose is coming with you, so grab that. You just gotta get the fan off so you have some bolts in here and then down here so you should have four and then you're just gonna place it on the new one right where you see them connect good idea to re just replace all of the hoses, especially if it's an old car like this so you haven't done it in a while, so be sure to take this hose off and then this hose that's now connected, or that's still connected here, and you're just going to put the new ones on. Now that I have all of the hoses on and the fan is on, um, take off these little protective caps here, they're not doing you any good. I have removed the hose that was attached to this metal tube um, and I'm putting it on the new radiator. It's easier to put this on while the radiator is out of the car because it's impossible to reach the um, hose clamp under here. Now that I have this hose connected to the radiator that's about to go in, it's going to attach to this metal tube that's facing downwards. I'm going to drop the radiator into um, these little spots right here and right here. It's kind of like a rubber kind of O-ring 
thing where it sits on. You just want to kind of wiggle it into place, slide it in there until um, it sits in the right spot. Position it until it sits in the right, uh, right little divots in the bottom there. There we go. Beautiful. And reattach this here and bolt it on on both sides. So and this one here. So it'll get seated in place, and then I'll put all the hoses back on. Now we can connect these little hoses. This is going to go back on this part, and then this one is going to go on here. And now just this little guy. You'll reconnect the electrical plugs. So it's down in there. And just plug them back in. And then one right here. So now we're going to fill up our new radiator. Replace your uh, battery cable there, um, so you get power, and now we're going to start it up. Replace the cap, of course. Start it up. <laughs> 